Hey everybody, here we are doing the monthly uh, month readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces. I initially uploaded Pisces and Aquarius and for some reason, um, you know, the sound just keeps going out. Not sure what's going on with that, but I don't want to make my Piscerians out there or my Aquarians out there uh, feel like, uh, you know, you guys are being... Um, ignored the fact that uh, I've been hearing or people have been messaging me that you guys can't hear me on the video so I will this is me uh, reloading again the video so as you can see it's the same cards I'm just gonna get into the reading um, again like I said I don't want to make you guys feel like I'm not hearing you guys I thank you guys um, you know, for those of you who have reached out to me and were like, what the hell is going on with the, with the audio? So anyways, here we are. So <clears throat> like you seen in the previous uh, video, you guys have the three of wands. Okay. For your cards, you have the page of swords, the 10 of wands, the page of wands, the six of wands. And for your partner's cards, they have the king of pentacles, nine of swords, Six of Swords and the Hierophant. Let me see. Okay. So with the Three of Wands, it's the center issue. And you're basically waiting for something, uh, either waiting for a message to come in or you're waiting on clear communication from your partner. OK, this usually is a representation of uh, perhaps some type of um, falling out or not being able to communicate uh, correctly at the present time. So with the page of swords, definitely there's a need for you guys to be. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more delicate when it comes to communication how you communicate throughout the mid month uh, you guys can come off a little bit harsh uh, I know Pisces usually are you know good-hearted people um, but with the page of swords again like I said you can come off being a little bit too honest a little bit too blunt uh, or short-tempered uh, just try the best you can to keep that in check only because, again, like I said, you don't want to come off as, you know, just being a brat or something like that. So, anyways, your next card is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, let me see. So, the Ten of Wands is definitely talking about being burdened, either uh, having a lot of um, overtime, uh, dealing with a lot of things that are outside of the relationship, or it could be in fact that you guys have been having a lot of miscommunication and it's kind of um, affecting you at the present time. Yeah, like I said, try the best you can to keep uh, your passive aggressiveness on check um, as it seems like that may be coming out or playing out throughout the mid month all the way to September. So. Uh, definitely be mindful about that. So it seems like your partner's, uh, you know, their attitude or their tempers become a little bit of weight on you, weight on your shoulders. So the three of wands is definitely talking about three party type of energies. It can also represent that. Um, so it could be either your partner or you that is currently debating or currently wondering if there is in fact a third party energy here. For some of you guys, uh, it could also represent that you guys are actually dealing with third party energies, not your partner, but yourself. So for some of you guys, uh, you may be dealing with a fire sign. A fire sign would be um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Virgo or an Earth sign. Earth sign would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, and again, like I said, third party type of energy. So it's either you or your partner, uh, you know, trying to fix the issues you guys currently have in your relationship, but also uh, you 
either you or your partner are already stepping out of the relationship or communicating with a third party, another person, basically. So the page of wands here is definitely talking about uh, high communication or communication coming very quickly, either through texting, uh, social media, something like that. Um, and again, it could be with the fire sign. So for some of you guys, I know it's going to play out very different, but for some, uh, it could be that, again, like I said, the 10, the 10 of wands and the 10 or the nine of swords is definitely mirroring one another. Um, and these are, again, like your partner dealing with a lot of, uh, mental issues when it comes to anxieties, uh, depression, maybe even, or having to deal with doubts uh, within the relationship. And again, like I said, I feel that either you or your partner is already stepping out of the relationship and having communication with a third party or a third person. Now, they're coming off with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a very practical person. So perhaps they are trying to see if this relationship is going to be able to move forward. Uh, it also represents that they're being extremely busy when it comes to their finances. So again, like I said, could be that they're working a lot. It could be that they you feel that they're no longer giving you the attention. The Nine of Swords is definitely talking about, again, like I said, mental anxieties or having to deal with doubts. Now, the Six of Swords here is definitely talking about uh, moving forward and moving forward away from this relationship. And the reason I say that is because the Three of Wands is looking towards the past, but the Six of Swords is all about moving forward. So it's like either you or your partner could be debating whether you want to continue the relationship or whether you don't want to continue the relationship. Either way, by the end of August... You guys have the Six of Wands here. The Six of Wands is feeling victorious in reference to something. So it could be the fact that you actually come to the determination that you no longer want to be with your partner. Or it could be, in fact, that uh, you both make a rational choice to put effort and to uh, maintain the relationship and just keep an open um open vessel of communication to be able to express uh, to one another how you're feeling. Now, for some of you guys that are in fact dealing with a Virgo and your partner may be, again, like I said, a fire sign or an earth sign, uh, there's definitely going to be a walking away or a moving forward with a Taurus person as the Hierophant does represent uh, Taurus. So again, like I said, by the end of August, there's definitely going to be clarity in the sense of uh, communication coming in. So it could be, again, like I said, either you find out that your partner, you know, has been um, dealing with other people or the fact that you come to the determination that you like the person that you're dealing with more than with the person you're with in a relationship. For those of you guys that are in a serious monogamous relationship, um, I do see that for some, because the King of Pentacles does represent, you know, it does represent a person that uh, is either financially stable or that they've been at the same job for quite a while now. And again, like I said, there's stability there. For some of you, it could represent that. It could represent that, you know, either you or your partner is the one that's well off. And that's the reason why this relationship is where it's at at the present time, meaning that's the reason why you guys haven't cut the cords. Uh, it could be that there's an admiration for work ethic from one partner to the other, but again, like I said, with the Nine of Swords, there's definitely doubts. There's a, definitely anxiety there um, and just not knowing what, what to do. But again, like I said, by the end of September, I, sorry, by the end of August going into September, September there's definitely going to be clarity there. Uh, for some of you guys, again, like I said, you have to keep in mind that the best honesty is the best policy at the end of the day. Uh, if you can't be honest with your partner, which is supposed to be the person you're sharing your life with, then who can you be honest with? And if you no longer feel a connection or a, a depthness in the relationship, then obviously there is passion missing. There is uh, de the desire is no longer there. And if that's the case, you need to make a choice. The Hierophant is all about making choices. And it seems like you haven't been wanting to make the choice these are the cards of your partner. So it could be that your partner is the one that decides and makes the choice to move away from the relationship, to pull away, or to no longer continue on this relationship, okay? 
So anyways, I hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, and again, I hope you appreciate the fact that I actually uh, redid the video um, only because I wanted to give you guys a uh, very clear message um, and let you guys know that I appreciate all the feedback I've got from you guys, okay? So we will see from each other soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and share my videos. I truly appreciate it. And we will see from each other soon, okay? Bye.